Hey everyone, Angry Honey Badger and Ranger with helpful tips and placement strategy for effectively warding for the bot lane. Let's start things off on blue side. Using your trinket early in the river brush can help gain vision for potential enemy invades. Make sure someone keeps an eye on tri brush as well, enemy teams will invade from this area too. For red side, using your trinket for the river brush is helpful for seeing an invade as well. If you're fast out of base, placing a ward in the enemy's jungle outside of their red buff may reveal more info for your team and potentially help your team invade. The reason we do that is because early game is everything. Getting off on the wrong foot can make your team argue right out of the gate and cause conflict. Vision will show you where they are, where they start, any shenanigans that might happen. Take the initiative, ward early, and get that early game advantage for your team. While laning, make sure you communicate with your lane partner so you don't double ward the same brush. Warding the river and surrounding areas while on bot blue side should go as follows. Warding outside of dragging helps grant earlier vision and potential enemy ganks and will allow you to retreat to safety sooner. Make sure the ward reveals dragon and also the blue buff entrance. Do not be hasty into a half ass ward. It also helps keep an eye on the river crab and dragon. You should only kill the river crab when you need the vision. Don't be that guy that gets caught and is out of position because you are trying to kill that river crab. A ward in the brush right outside of lane is not advised as the time to react to a gank is reduced drastically. When you ward is important. Do it as the wave arrives or completely dies. This enables you to get the most XP without leaning your lane partner open to being engaged upon. Warding tri brush can be important for tracking junglers who like to gank from behind. More so, this is a great area to place a pink ward to help keep this brush warded and consistently clear enemy wards, helping your jungler remain undetected for bot lane ganks. For red side, keeping tri brush vision is very important as most enemy junglers will gank from this path. If you lose vision of tri brush as red because they pink it, do not rush the pink ward to kill it. Play defensively until you can see where their jungler is and then you can clear it. You don't need to clear it, just make a mental note of it and clear it at the safest time possible. The enemy team is controlling try with a pink, an acceptable placement for a ward can be put here for the meantime. Remember, if one or both enemy bot laners go back to base, clear their pink ward from tri brush. Another great place for a ward if your team is running teleport is behind a pushing enemy bot lane. Make a mental note of enemy wards in the bushes also, so you do not make the mistake of over committing and getting teleported on. A teleport from any top or mid lane can create an almost impossible situation for the other team to escape from. This ward can also be helpful to keep vision of enemy junglers trying to gank through lane. For deep defensive warding on blue side, keep an eye on this brush from possible dives such as fiddle alts. Knowing what jungler they have should change how you ward. Fiddle, Panth, Nocturne all have different ways of ganking and use their alts for engaging beyond ward vision. Be weary of this and always keep in mind that if you are extended too far, not even wards can help you. For red side, keep the tri brush warded behind your tower for similar dive situations. If you suspect one of these ganks is happening, communicate to your jungler and mid laner as this amount of commitment from the enemy team to gank can be turned in your favor. Warding makes it so you can take certain positions, but never makes it so you are ungankable. You always have to be conscious of where the enemy is, where you are, and how the lane is pushing. Be sure to check back in the future for more Season 5 Tips for Lulling.